Officials of the Russian Atomic Energy Corporation have been in Nigeria in the last one week holding talks with the federal government on the development of nuclear energy and its peaceful application to grow the country's economy. This joint news conference by the Russian delegation and the Director General of the Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission is to update journalists on the outcomes of these meetings. Although Nigerian government says it is interested in the peaceful application of nuclear energy in every aspect of the economy, the electricity and agriculture sector prioritize in these discussions. The major aspect of our discussion is how can we use peaceful applications of nuclear science and technology for socio-economic development of Nigeria. And that aspect is what the multipurpose research reactor complex is envisaged to address. The second aspect is our own infrastructure in the power industry. Electricity grid is very important. We have discussed with Federal Minister of Power what we intend to do and how we intend to do it so that they can now factor it into their own energy master plan, energy budgeting. Rosatom is the largest producer of electricity in Russia, ensuring over 20% of the country's energy needs. The corporation includes over 400 enterprises and employs a total of 250,000 people. Rosatom is happy to be here and to, to further our um, development with Nigeria, um, and we look forward to working with Nigeria to achieve their, their nuclear ambitions. But Russia is not the only international partner who has shown interest in developing alternative energy sources to boost electricity supply in Nigeria. The United States of America, the Republic of China and Germany had at different times entered into agreements to develop the energy sector. The federal government has also spent over 1.5 trillion naira as intervention between 2017 and 2019 to boost electricity supply. But neither the interventions from the federal government nor the international partners have improved the situation. The government is, however, hopeful that the partnership with the Russian government will be a game changer as timelines are set. So the nuclear power plants are the giant projects which I think from now to maybe 10 years is, is a long timeline that we can be able to build those ones. But for the multipurpose research reactor, their timelines are, are shorter. Nigeria has 23 power generating plants with installed capacity to generate 11,165 megawatts of electricity. In spite of this capacity, Nigeria's electricity supply still revolves around 4,000 and 5,000 megawatts, an inadequacy the government hopes to improve upon by this new partnership.